Hey, hey, my lovely. Today we're going to talk about uh, something very important, which is releasing. Because I figured it out that there is no healing without the release. So we have to release the things which are holding us back. And I want to be very honest with you. And I wanted to um, be very, very personal. So if you see yourself in these images, uh, please know that you are not alone. First of all, uh, of uh, first of our uh, releasing mantra is I release my need to control and I trust the process. Because I don't know if you can relate, but I am control freak and every single endo girls with who I work with is actually control freak. We like it to have it our way and we like to have like certain a very clear path that we can follow and uh, illness is taking this control away from us so we are feeling a little bit lost you know it's not many things we can control so we have to focus on the things that we can control and there is plenty of them there really are like for example our response to the stress we can control that uh, we can control uh, our hormones naturally we can control um what we eating by following anti-inflammatory diet so we can control uh you know inflammation in our body or the lack of it uh, and the uh, things uh, which are not very nice like for example bloating and for example cramps we all can control that so instead of focusing on things that we cannot control please just focus on those which we can control okay uh, another very important thing Primary gains and losses. So uh, from our healing mantras, I'm releasing uh, any resistance, either conscious or unconscious, to my wellness and uh, thriving. And what I mean by resistant, conscious and unconscious, uh, we are operating mainly uh, from our subconscious mind. Uh, so uh, our um, behaviors is run by our subconscious mind and we've got primary gains and losses. And to be able to be finally free from this illness, we have to release all the primary gains and all the primary losses. So what are they? It's basically what, the, what are you gaining through this illness? And you might think, yo, I'm not gaining anything, but be honest with you. Like answer to this question, if the endometriosis was a person, from what she will protect me from. And then you will know. Like, for example, thanks to my illness, I don't have to. And then fill the blank. And um, because uh, of my illness, um, it, no, if I were healthy to tomorrow, I would have to. That would give you ideas which are the primary gains and the losses. Losses is what you're going to lose when you get healthy, when you get rid of this uh, specific problem. So as you can see, we have to release this completely because as long as you will be using your illness for something, as long it will stay with you and we don't want that. But another thing, healing the body is uh, the same as healing the soul. It always comes together hand in hand. You cannot heal your body without uh, looking deeper and without healing your soul. I release past pain and hurts with love and gratitude. So whatever was holding you back, whatever past uh, pains and traumas that have to be dealt with, that have to uh, be uh, put in the, into the surface and look at with a love and released with a gratitude. Otherwise, it will be very, very difficult for you to heal. Uh, the next from our affirmation, a healing mantras, Today, I release toxic thoughts and emotions, unhealthy relationship, thoughts of uh, revenge and unforgiveness, negative words I spoke about others and to myself. I just let it go. This is very deep, guys. Epigenetics is uh, telling us that we can actually influence our genes which is mind-blowing. Uh, a moto water experiment is uh, showing us that uh, humans' intentions and humans' um, focus can influence the structure of the water. And taking into account that we are 80% of the water, it's mind-blowing, seriously. So any toxic thoughts that you think about others, uh, will manifest in your body. Any toxic thoughts, uh, negative words you're talking uh, about yourself 
it will come back to haunt you. So guys, we have to be very, very mindful because your mind can either kill you or it can kill you. There is no joking around at it. And this is not some kind of woo woo. This is actually proven by science. So please take it very, very seriously. Another uh, thing from our healing mantras, I lovingly release myself from my own past. Let it go. Let it go, guys. Sometimes uh, we are um, choosing the illness and holding into illness as a punishment for something we did very, very long time ago. And I know from my own experience and from working with uh, my endo girls that where is this illness, there is a very likely some kind of shame, some kind of uh, trauma and some kind of forgiveness that needs to be done because there's no healing without forgiveness. So whatever you've uh, been holding you back, I want you to forgive yourself and release this because the thing which happened in the past should stay in the past. And girl, that was just a lesson, not a life sentence. So you shouldn't be living with this, whatever happened over and over again. Okay, so big cleansing breath and release. Next mantra, I release all doubts and insecurities about myself and my body. So um, this is something what I do with my girls when I work with them one-on-one. We are working on the things, uh, on the subconscious mind um, patterns uh, and the things which they've been influencing their healing. Like, for example, what other people told you about healing, that the healing, it, it will be very long, like it's going to be hard. Uh, no one else done it and you know and think what other people told you about your body as well you know and the things what you told yourself about your body like for example my body never cooperates with me my body always breaks down when I need it you know I'm always in constant fight with my body all these things have to be named and have to be look at it and have to be released <sighs> so let it go. And the last one from our release healing mantras, I release my attachment to outcomes and choose to trust the universe, God and divine timing. This is something <laughs> what I had to um, look at very, very recently. But I'm going to tell you in a minute. Uh, basically, you have to release all the expectations you have uh, regarding the healing. I don't know if you are like me, but I give myself certain period of time where I'm supposed to heal. And it never works. Because first of all, everyone is healing in their own patterns. You cannot speed it up. You really can't. And in the moment you think you, you are over something, then, you know, something uh, will happen and you have to go back and finish your healing. And I had that very, very recently when I gave myself a time to heal from my lost pregnancy. I was literally so angry at myself that it took so long. I didn't expect it to take so long, like weeks and weeks and almost months. And I didn't do anything. I didn't post anything. So, you know, I was expecting it's going to last at least like one week, but never longer because, you know, I'm not the, the, this kind of person who dwell into my misery. And But guys, we have to be very, very humble uh, because the healing process is ongoing and we just have to release all the attachment to the outcomes and just trust the God and trust the universe because everything happened in its divine timing. We cannot speed it up. So I hope those uh, small mantras helped and I see you uh, very shortly in another video. I love you so much. Bye.